live. Arthur Harrington, Lumsack, New York, on Route 67. On Route 67, would you talk a little louder, too, okay. so we can pick it up. Mm -hmm. How long have you lived in Hoosick Falls area? All my life. All your life. Right. See, were you born in Hoosick Falls? or North, North Hoosick. You are born in North Hoosick. That's where you live now. I live and, in Lumsack now, just up the road, east. Uh, was it around where you used to live yeah. when you were a kid? That's correct. All right, well, you tell us a little about when you were a kid and uh, before you went into the service. Well, I went to St. Mary's Academy. Left to, in, uh, in the meantime, he used to go swimming every uh, during the summer up to the whole White Creek Pool. Yes, he used to keep that maintained pretty good. We enjoyed ourselves up there. Then I uh, went to graduate school. I went to Noblem Woods to learn to be a machinist. All right, can I ask you a question about going to school? When you uh, when you went to school at St. Mary's, how'd you get down to St. Mary's? Uh, walk, walk from North Hoodick to when I lived north to uh, Hoodick Falls every day. You walk down and back every down day. And back. Hey, All that, kinds of weather. That's the old joke, but you really <laughs> did it, huh? We did it. Yeah, I see. <laughs> we did it. All right, and then, then you went to work in... Uh, Noble and Wood. Noble and Wood. Yeah. And left there for a better job down to the uh, Water Relief Arsenal, where I was working on a 75 millimeter time the, did the finished job on a gun breech with a uh, wet grinder. I see. We had close tolerance to make sure it worked good. Right. Then I left there and uh, took a leave of absence. They were going to keep me there. But I got down to the Marine Corps recruiting office, the head of the Army, and I got sworn in so they couldn't keep me at the Arsenal, so I joined the Marine Corps. I see, but you could have got a deferment probably if you worked well, at they, the... Well, I think at the time they used to draft the uh, draft of people and keep them there. I see. But you're under Army status. Then. Oh, I see. So you went to the Marines? Went to the Marine Corps. When right? was that when you enlisted? September 10th, 1942. 1942, yeah. all right. Yeah. Then, then what happened? Then I went to Paris Island Boot Camp. That was a whole different ball game. <laughs> yeah. I left there, went to a place they called it Camp Lejeune now, but they used to call it New River. Yeah. Uh, I was there, and they'd give us a three to uh, seventy-two hour pass, and two of us came home for seventy-two hours. A guy by the name of Clifford Damford, myself, better known as Cliff Damford. I mean, he was from Hoosick Falls. He was from Hoosick Did Falls. you enlist together, or? We all went together, yeah, a bunch of us. How, do you remember any of the names so we could have them oh, on tape? Oh, yeah, let's see, there was myself, Stanley Mostoff, Cliff Danford, uh, Bill Williams. Well, that's all right, as long as we got some of them. That's all right, we got some of them. Harold Cutler. Oh, Harold Cutler. Harold, yeah, oh, right, yeah, right, I knew there was another one. Yeah, okay, so you, you, you did basic together? All the basic together, yeah. All right. Then well, what happened? Then we got separated that we went to different. You go here, you go yeah, here. Right. They took all the biggest guys, I mean, tallest ones, the bigger ones, and made machine gunners out of us. <laughs> oh, you're a machine gunner. Right? 30, 30 caliber, yeah. yeah. Right. I did demolitions, too. Land mines and stuff like that, booby traps. All right, then what happened? Where'd you go and what happened? Went from there, went to, uh, they transferred us to was Camp Elliott in San Diego. From there, they shot us up to Camp Pendleton in California. From back to San Diego, we embarked from San Diego, went to, uh, to Auckland, Auckland, New Zealand. We were camped at a little place they call Walkworth, just out of about 60 miles north of Auckland. Auckland's the main uh, capital of mainland, yeah. the north Been there, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Been there, yeah. beautiful yeah. country. Beautiful thing. Yeah. 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 Then from there, we went to Guadalcanal, where we jungle trained. And we trained there, then we hit the island of Bougainville, which is in the Solomon Islands. We took that and we secured that, turned that over to the Army, come back to Guadalcanal. We did some more resting up and training again. Then we uh, landed in Guam, the Solomon or in the Marianne Islands. I got wounded there and I landed there. We come back to Espirito, to Hebrides, to a naval hospital. I had a chance to go aboard a heavy cruiser then. There were lots of men on the cruiser. But I'd rather go back my outfit, because if I said, no, I'll go back with my outfit. Took me about a month to get back there. Then we went from uh, there to uh, Iwo Jima. Oh, you were on Iwo Jima yeah. too, the yeah. Sam, and there were quite, the, Sam told us there were three or four other guys from Yeah, there was, yeah, there. yeah. He lost a uh, well, neighbor of mine uh, up on there. Uh, on, at the time I lived on Abbott Street, it was Harold McClucas. Yeah, but Cook is his brother here. I right? see. And yeah. so you were in the regime, so that's the third beachhead you were and on? the third one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. then what happened? Then I come home and I uh, 
I didn't come home, I come back to the States. And I was stationed in Hart Island, New York, right in the Bronx. Naval prison. <laughs> Naval prison. Yeah. Good, du good duty, though, good duty. Good. Every weekend off, every night off. They charged a court martial, tried to take him to a camp picker down the Brooklyn Navy Yard for trial, transfer him like down to Philadelphia, I stuff see. like that. So, in other words, you 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 were involved in three landings actually, three, 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 yeah, three Marine landings, yeah. and the, the Marines went in first, and yeah. then the Army came mm -hmm. to secure it. Yeah, they we turned it over to them. Yeah, I see. So, uh, we're the Navy's landing force, really. Yeah, what they call it. Yeah. So, do you have any interesting other stories uh, about the guys you've seen, or the, while you were in the service, or anything about the service that you can well, tell? I'm still in contact with the uh, nine fellows. Yeah. We had a company commander, or platoon leader, I should say. Uh, he uh, later become a company commander, another outfit. That he looked us all up, and he got us all together, and he come and see me about two years ago, just a Easter, about a year and a half ago. Yeah. Yeah. Captain Jimmy Putnam, nice guy. Yeah. yeah. So you you get to see. Yeah, I got a couple in Pennsylvania, uh, one in Ohio, another guy down in uh, down in Long Island. He uh, got to be a uh, uh, inspector for New York uh, City Police Department. All right. So then, after you, after your Marine career, you you, uh, you were back in the working, in, you know, in the yeah. states went in New York. Yeah, that job. What happened then? I went to uh, the polygraphic. Uh, to, uh, oh, you can They discharge you from New York. Me, yeah, I got uh, October the thirtieth, nineteen forty-five. Went discharge. I see. Yeah. Had enough points. You've been through enough a lot, so they I sent you out. One hundred and twenty-six points. Oh, yeah. so you were really up yeah. there. All right, and then you came home and you went to work at the, the polygraphic in North Bennington. Oh, I see. Yeah. It was inside that. Uh, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't take working inside like that. I had to get out. A lot of fellows have said that uh, <laughs> since I've been doing this, yeah? Yeah. And then what you do, uh, Art? Then I uh, left there and I uh, went to work in a Loomsack paper mill for a while. I was in a maintenance up there, so I was in and out there. That was all right. Then I uh, got a chance to go to work for the state. I worked uh, for the state. I, I retired. I had 30 years with the with DOT the and the and the Civil Defense Commission, both. Oh, great. So you worked yeah. for the state for 30 years. 30 years, yeah. Yeah, good. Retired 1978. Yeah, and then you went back. And now you become uh, our judge. Yeah, I was a judge when I was still working for the state. Oh, I yeah. see. Yeah. How long have you been judging? Uh, over 22 years. You've yeah. been the judge in town here for 22 yeah. years? A little over Wonderful. 22. I just got elected for four more. Yeah, that's great. All I'm right. going to stick up a four or not, but I'm there. <laughs> yeah, but good, we got you. Um, you got married, you had uh, how many kids? Two daughters. Two daughters, yeah, yeah I know your daughters. Uh, yeah. And uh, Two daughters, uh, two grandchildren, a great-granddaughter. Yeah, great. Yeah. All right, can you tell us a little about Hoosick Falls as far as you're concerned? A little about, you know, your feelings about it? And, oh, yeah, uh, great, great, great. The whole town is great, you know. A lot of, a lot of nice people, a lot, of, a lot of good people. I see, and yeah. uh, um, I can't think of anything else. I mean, you went to school at St. Mary's. You mm -hmm. walked down. You told us, and uh, yeah. yeah, did rain you? Rain or pass? shine? What's that? Rain or shine? Rain you or went shine. to school in the winter there. time too, it, with the big in snow. In the winter time. Yeah. If you weren't there, them none wanted to know why. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, uh, there wasn't any type of transportation. People didn't. No, no, not at the time. Yeah, but I mean. Uh, didn't, uh, did people have cars? I mean, uh, well, you know, my, there was very few of them. Very few. At the time, my father didn't have any. I see. Well, good. Yeah. Well, we thank you, Art. I mean, okay. we were... I, uh, I appreciate well, we, appreciate uh, you asking me this. And yeah, and well... We, help me out. Well, and then uh, I'll tell you... you well, we got a picture here right to show well, you. All right, well, let me zoom it in. You hold it up right there. And you the hold it, I can picture, zoom right in. The picture of the old Delaney, Delaney's Hotel. It's where they're burnt under once in a while. Here, could you hold it down a little lower, please? That's one up, of right up, yeah, a little there it is, perfect. Now, let that, me zoom all the way in. That's one that was in good shape, which they're restoring it now and looking oh, great. Oh, it looks just like it, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's great. I got it. I got it into the picture. Okay. And thank you very okay. much. All Appreciate right. you coming.